Hi, my name is Megan. I'm from Northern Ontario and I'm a third year student here at the Schulich School of Law. And today I'm going to be your host for a tour of the Weldon Law Building. Welcome to the Weldon Law Building. I'd first like to begin by acknowledging that we are in Mi'kma'ki, which is the traditional and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. The Dalhousie Law School sits on this unceded territory and of course we are all treaty people. So the outside of the law school here is a traditional gathering space for students and faculty. You'll often find people sitting in the Adirondack chairs, eating lunch, chatting, just getting some general outside time. The Weldon Law Building has been home to students since 1966. And in 2009, after a significant endowment from Seymour Schulich, the Dalhousie Law School was renamed the Schulich School of Law. Our building was named after Richard Chapman Weldon, who was our founding dean and he had a real dedication to unselfish public service, which is known as the Weldon tradition. And all of our faculty, staff, alumni, and students really try to embody this dedication and this Weldon tradition by giving back to our community. Let's head inside. This is our main lobby of the law school. Here is where you'll find a lot of different student societies hosting fundraisers, the occasional bake sale, and just generally where students will gather. Over here, we have our reception office, and this is where you can direct all of your general inquiries, and you'll also have to hand in a paper or two throughout the school year. It is also home to our career development office, and this office does a ton for students. They will help you with one-on-one -on -one interview prep, they'll help you build your resume, they'll do job search coaching, they will also lead you through the formal national recruits, they do the Law Plus and Weldon Mentorship Program, um, they also host a bunch of different career development workshops. They are a great resource and they are there to answer any of your questions that you have. Over here, we have our alumni office. And since the first graduating class in 1885, which consisted of 10 students, over 8,000 students have since graduated from our law program. Here in our alumni office, you'll find the opportunity to connect with our alumni who work across the country and across the world. Our alumni love to come back and teach, sit on panels, give guest lectures, and generally just be part of our law school community. A number of our notable alumni include Elizabeth May, who's the leader of the Green Party of Canada, Barry Dunn, who plays Ray on Trailer Park Boys, Corinne Sparks, who is the first African-Canadian female judge, and Ian Hammond-Ansing, who's the lead anchor on the CBC's The National. Walking in from the lobby, you'll find our washrooms, as well as our student lockers, which were donated by the class of 1967. You'll also find elevator access on each floor of the building. Here, we have just one of our student lounges that you'll find in the law school. This is where students will come and gather, wait for classes to start, eat lunch, study, that kind of thing. Welcome to room 105. The Weldon Law Building has basically been rebuilt from the inside out, so all of our classrooms have been redone. In this room, a lot of your classes will take place, so this will become a very familiar room to you. Moots also take place here, including our prestigious Smith Shield Moot, which was started in 1927. Past Smith Shield Moot winner and alum, Bertha Wilson, was actually the first female judge appointed to the Supreme Court of Canada. Law Hour, which is a weekly speaker series, is also hosted in this room, as well as other guest speakers, panels, and events, including orientation. Also on this floor, you will find our Information Media Center, which provides IT support services for classroom and online learning. This is Rocky Jones. Rocky Jones was an African Nova Scotian activist who is known around the world for his work on human rights, race, and poverty. He was instrumental in the creation of the Indigenous Blacks and in Mi'kmaq Initiative and was actually one of the first graduates of that program. This is Donald Marshall Jr. The Royal Commission on the Wrongful Conviction of Donald Marshall Jr. was also instrumental in the creation of the IBM Initiative. His leading Supreme Court case reaffirmed the treaty rights of his people. Here's the atrium. The atrium is a popular gathering spot for students. Lots of different events are hosted here, including two weddings. We also have our law library here. The law library is named after our alum, Sir James Hammett Dunn and who's also the owner of the Algoma Steel Company. Our law library is a great place to study. 
and our librarians are a fantastic resource that will help you with all of your legal research needs. Our law library was actually struck by lightning back in 1985 and the fire engulfed the entire building. Thankfully, no one was injured, but the fourth and fifth floors of the library were completely destroyed. Our librarians were able to salvage most of our library resources and our library was actually able to reopen in 1989. Just a few years ago, the entire outside of the law building was redone to correct the lingering issues from the fire. Some cool features of our law library include the rare book room. Uh, we also have office and study spaces for our LLM and PhD candidates, which is called the grad pad. And we also have our very own escape room. This is our student lounge. This is a super popular spot. Everyone comes here to study, eat, socialize, take a break between classes. Our coffee shop is also here and it is a great spot to get that caffeine, other types of drinks, lunch, quick snacks, great spot. This is our office of our Associate Dean Academic as well as our Student Services and Engagement. Both of these offices provide you with a ton of support throughout your entire time here at law school. They provide you with student counseling and advice, accommodation, mentoring and wellness, as well as academic success programs. This is the office of the Dean, where all the day-to-day -day operations of the law school take place. On top of governing the law school, this office also works to build connections between the community, faculty, and the university. This office also handles scholarships and bursaries, human resources, finance, communications, and building maintenance. We're on the third floor now. On this floor, you'll find more classrooms as well as some of the professor's offices. Also on this floor is our Law Student Society office. The Law Student Society is your elected student government and we represent you in a bunch of different ways. Whether it's uh, social, financial or academic, we are your advocates. The Law Student Society stands for diversity, accountability and advocacy. And whether you choose to join the Law Student Society itself or one of our more than 30 student societies, this is where you can find support. We're heading into our faculty lounge, but this is so much more than just a space where faculty gather. We also host events that connect our students with our alumni, faculty, and the broader legal community. Just last year, we hosted our Speaker of the House, Jeff Regan, broadcaster, Mark Sakamoto, and two Supreme Court Justices, Justices Martin and Justice Gascon. Our Health Law Institute and our IBM initiative can also be found on this floor. Our IBM initiative works really hard to ensure that our Mi'kmaq and African Nova Scotian students are represented at this law school. This initiative works through community outreach and recruiting, provides student support and services, as well as promotes the hiring and retention of its graduates. Up here on the fourth floor, you'll find more classrooms and professor's offices. Right now, we're in the Glooby Room. The Glooby Room is named after Constance Glooby, who is a trailblazer for women in law. Also up here on the fourth floor, you'll find the offices for the Marine and Environmental Law Institute, the Law and Tech Institute, as well as our Graduate Studies Program. That concludes our tour of the Weldon Law Building. The Schulich School of Law is really well known for its sense of community and collegial atmosphere. You'll have so many opportunities to connect with your classmates and professors while you're here, and our staff and faculty cannot wait to provide you with support. Welcome to our community.